Hi guys and welcome to episode 7 of my career mode series on the road with Warsaw. The first game of the episode is straight away. We're heading to Fratton Park against Portsmouth and we are looking to get a decent result on the road. Our lineup for this game is Dunning Goal, Wilson at right back, Roberts and Johnson are in the middle with Lee here at left back, Morris is on the right and we're going to try Sangar in the centre of midfield alongside Dobson. He can play as a CDM according to his positional sense and Kouyar's out on the left and we're going to give Newman a go up front. So as we know, uh, FIFA youth players do tend to be able to move around the pitch. They're not necessarily strapped to the position that you they're, they're shown as being on the on the squad system. So Newman being a left midfielder, uh, we're trying out at a striker, and Sangar we're trying out in centre mid as he can also play CDM. And that first goal looks like it's Sangar's fault. I think he's just got himself trapped in the centre-back position, even though he's trying to play in a centre-midfield role, he's still playing as a, as a, as a centre-back, because that is not his man. And nevertheless, whether it's his man or not, he's still got there in front of him and has got it past done. So now we're 1-0 down and having to chase the game. Portsmouth once again getting forward and we're having to make clear the lines and what a fabulous save there from Dunn. One handed. Newman cuts inside. Oh goes to let them go, but defender just about gets a touch on it to take the sting out of it. Second half here and Portsmouth are putting us under pressure once more. Chip that one up into the box and Another header and another poor bit of defending in the centre there. I think positionally Roberts is pretty poor. I think over the last few episodes we might have highlighted the fact that uh, the young centre back that we uh, accumulated as part of the Warsaw squad has some poor positional sense and technically that's his man, not Fitzwaters. So I've got a feeling that Sangar is going to be taking up that position in future games and uh, we'll be dropping Roberts to a bench player. Oof, they've hit the bar now as well. We've just managed to scramble that clear. Free kick right on the end of the game here. Knocking it on into the box. It's another header and another goal. So we've th chipped three to Portsmouth in this game. Uh, really poor results in reality. But they are tough opposition, Portsmouth. We, we really shouldn't estimate, underestimate them. And um, I, I have a feeling that this is going to be a long road towards the end of the season as we try to infiltrate the squad with these youth players and try to find the best positions for them. It just gets up above the, the players there, the, the striker and looping header that's caught out done. Two for Evans, one for Wheeler, and we're, we've uh, lost this one three now. Dejected as we walk off the field there. That was a, a terrible game to be playing in because the momentum swing towards Portsmouth was huge. Um, player ratings for this match. Wilson got a 7.5. He was the standout performer amongst everybody who really only climbed into the sixes at best and yeah it was just a, a poor performance all round in reality. A lot of the time it doesn't help with the switching when you go to different uh, formations in game as you can notice there Ronan's playing as the centre back rather than Fitzwater something that uh, I think needs to be patched by FIFA but we'll see how that goes on in the future. As we move out to the squad reports and we see that Lander Williams, 17 years of age, is worth 140,000 and will start at either 52 to 66 and has a potential of 67 to 85 in the cam position and uh, hopeful that he might uh, be quite the player. Lars Peters, uh, that's the brother of our left back that we've already signed up. So we, we're keeping an eye on him just to see if he develops as well as uh, his brother has. 
these other players here are uh, showing too little overall and potential so we're just binning them off at this point and we'll keep those two players there on the watch list going into next uh, next month moving over to Sean King who's placed in England we've got Taylor Price here who has a rather low overall uh, but we'll keep an eye on him for now Bradley Cook same sort of deal Henry Bailey not bad £100,000 worth will spawn between 48 to 64 and has a potential of 73 to 94. We then have Liam Wright, who's a goalkeeper, but we're going to let him go as we are George Brown. Henry Bailey there. Um, we're just having another quick look at the player. As I say, 48 to 64 is where he will start. Um, because this is where the... Uh, scout moves on I think we need to get this guy into the youth academy and just see how he progresses he's got a potential of between 73 and 94 in any case so we move out to Chile where Conor Murphy is stationed and we've got Ronaldo Bello uh, 47 to 63 and Paz 45 to 61 with a potential of 71 to 91 worth 180,000 we're going to sign uh, him up to the youth academy because he does look like he might have a decent amount of potential. A couple of other players here that really aren't going to hit the mark, so we'll get rid of those from the, the Youth Academy and we'll leave Bellow on the list to see how he progresses next month. Sean King, our best scout, we're going to relocate him now and we're going to send him off to the Republic of Ireland see if we can find any decent talent out there. As we move out to a bit of training here, we've got Cissé, Newman, Sangar, Peters and Hughes in, currently in the slots. And we're going to swap out Sangar for our new recruit here. We've got a couple of new recruits, remember. I'm just flicking through this list here just to see who would be best placed in that position and we're going to choose Paz, uh, Danilo Paz, the young Chilean. Uh, he has come in as a centre back at 56 and he's already going up by 1 to 57, Cissé has gone up by 1 to 53 and Hughes has increased to 61. FA Cup game here against Wimbledon at home so it's a sim game and you can obviously see the line up on the left hand side. We're still playing in the 4-4-2 formation that uh, Warsaw are set with when they when you first go into the game. Wimbledon uh, have equalised there, having already gone ahead with Cook, and then Ishmael puts us ahead on the 38th minute. Devlin got a card on exactly the same the same time, so I don't know what he did in that time frame to be able to get a yellow card. Cook with another one, and we finish up three one. Not a bad result there against Wimbledon in the the FA Cup. Straight out to training, um, same players in the slots as last time. Peters has gone up by one overall to 56, uh, the young left back. And that means we're straight out to the next game. It's another home game, so another simmed one. And we're facing off against Coventry in this one, so a bit of a derby. Uh, first minute and fourth minute, a goal for each of us. One for Cook, one for Chaplin. Uh, tenth minute, we've got a yellow card for Martin. And we're moving on through the time now. Oh, Devlin gets another yellow card on the 44th minute this time. Ronan and Dobson swap places. And a couple of substitutions for Coventry. As they also accrue a yellow card. And then Cook gets us the, the go-ahead goal on the 83rd minute. That's two for him in the game. And it's a 2-1 victory over Coventry City. OK, so enough of the sim games. Let's have an away game here as we go on the road and we face off against Bradford City at Valley Parade. Will you please make some noise and welcome our visitors, Walsall and your Bradford City. OK, I line up for this game. He's done in goal. Wilson right back. Roberts and Sangars back in the middle of defence with Leahy. Morris 
is on the right, Edwards and Dobson are in the centre with Newman out on the left hand side again, going to give him another try out there and then we've got Gordon and Parker up front. Dobson, ooh nice effort there from Edwards as it comes back out to Parker, Parker to Newman. Can he find some space? No, he's battered to the floor and we get absolutely nothing from the referee. Surely that was a fucking penalty ref. Gordon holds off the defender and gets the crossing. Oh, lucky there. Dobson, keeper with a fabulous save. Pushes it out and around. There's a lovely dipping shot there from Dobson from distance. Gordon, Dobson. Knocks it over to Parker. Tries to craft some space and he finds a man spare in the box. He take the shot, but it's uh, a rather weak one. Newman cuts back. Tries to take the shot, but it's blocked. He knocks it now outside to Wilson, who's on the overlap. He knocks it down the line. That's into the box. Keepers come for it. There's an unlucky uh, setup. Bit of setup play there. Ooh, as we uh, take out one of the Bradford City players with a karate chop. And we get the ball away. Morris there going to pick up a card for that challenge. <laughs> He's trying to remonstrate with the referee. It's a bit like when you're trying to say to your mum you hadn't done something when you were a kid. He knew he'd done it, but he was still trying to get away with it. Into the box. Oh, good save there from Dunn. And we play the ball away. Corner, second half. Roberts, oh, it's off the line. It was a good header. Okay, we're going to play the ball around here. Dobson to Sangar, waiting for some space to open up, and we've found that space. Into Parker. Parker waits for the run. Nice back heel to Edwards, and Edwards with a weak effort, to be honest. Bradford, Newman trying to close him down. Not quite there. Ooh, Dunn has to just push that over the bar. He driven into the ground just ahead of him. Okay, so Ishmael's come on for Morris and a couple of other substitutions as we try to shake things up just towards the end of this game. A bit, bit of fresher, fresher players on the pitch. Ishmael knocks it back. Wilson into the box. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a healthy dose of fromage there. What a cheesy goal. That is not a shot, that is a cross. And the keeper, what is he playing at? He's just watched it go by. Did he have a bet on us winning or something? Wilson's just played that into the box and was hoping somebody would get their head on it, but there was no need because it just trickled past the keeper. Edwards, out to Ginnelly, a nice ball to Ferrier, knocks it off to Edwards and then drags it wide. Bradford, ooh, loose possession, overran that ball. Parker, nice effort, not quite on target though. Roberts, gives the ball to Edwards. Edwards finds Ishmael on the overlap. He cuts back, throws it into the box. Ferrier goes so close with the header, but the keeper pushes it around the post. It's a lovely ball in. Ferrier manages to get ahead of his man, but can't quite direct it onto, into the goal. Okay, we're going to call for the player here. We're going to knock it into the box. Oh. So close. Unlucky effort again there from the corner with the header. So a victory, a very cheesy goal, and Wilson gets man of the match for his efforts for scoring that goal with an 8.7. Lee on the other side of the pitch got an 8.2, and then we get lots of sevens around the pitch. Uh, some sixes as players have departed and then been replaced by other players scoring six sixes as well. But a good all-round performance. I would suggest. We did have a bit of a switching around throughout in order to try to maximise the performance of some of the players.
I hope you enjoyed that episode. Uh, we are trying our best, obviously, to get as many of the youth players through the system as quickly as possible, uh, whilst obviously continuing to use as many of the youth players that currently exist within the Warsaw squad itself. So uh, it, it's, a, it's a challenge at the moment in terms of the way in which that the, everybody's playing because we're trying to get something to mesh together. But hopefully it comes across as a, a decent performance nonetheless. If you did enjoy that episode, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel for future FIFA 2019 content.